Uh, hello friend, uh, welcome back uh, to the series. It's a system centric contribution uh, part 3. Okay, I think uh, we have already discussed about the you know CCM introduction and also oh, I showed you like uh, uh, a diagram uh, for my uh, lab environment and you can uh, use the same things uh, uh, for your for your lab environment. Okay, so here uh, I have three servers and one client and uh, uh, I have the internet also uh, but in my lab environment I have used the uh, VMware workstation uh, here if you look at this uh, uh, application this is the application uh, where I have uh, uh, created already uh, I mean I have installed all the VMs like uh, I have created one I mean uh, install the OS only that SCCM DC one I have na given name and uh, which is uh, uh, perform as a MP DP and DV that is the SCCM 01 and the secondary server I mean um, secondary server which we can be a uh, perform as a DP only I mean secondary DP that is the SCCM 02 and the one client machine I have uh, I mean configure the VM only nothing else I'm done I can show you also how you will do it let me uh, show you one thing like here in the file menu once the install the application open the VM here you can file new virtual machine okay do the next and do the next here you need to give the path for ISO file of your operating system right I have the uh, ISO file of 2012 here at the uh, path otherwise if you have a CD I'm sorry uh, physical CD on your you can put it that CD 2012 server CD on your physical machine and you can choose from here okay there are two ways are there so you can do it but uh, I have ISO file that's the reason I choose this option okay so do the next here it will ask which version you want to there what are the versions are there on, on your CD then it will ask if only the standard version then it will automatically take the standard version okay so I choose the standard version and you can give the username password and do the next after you do the next it will ask what should be the name of the VM virtual machine and where you want to save and it will do the next 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 and it will ask the configuration everything then you can do it nothing else it's very simple to do it uh, to creating the virtual machine if you don't you know and understand uh, in this you can um, uh, see other videos which I already uploaded it in DHCP and on ID everything I configured in the VMB workstation only so you can watch this video you can learn how to create the virtual machines so and I have created you know ESXi also VMware uh, there you can understand you can watch the video okay so thanks thanks for watching this video and I just cancel it because I don't need to create new virtual machine and this is the option also here also you can create the virtual machine right so let's go uh, to our uh, diagram right so now we will create a uh, DC right SCCM DC and which is 2012 server and we will give the IP 192.168.1.2 and the subnet will be this one and this server will be act as a DNS also that's this DNS server is same 192.168.1.2 okay so let's come to the VM workstation here and uh, if you look at this is the DC okay what the name I've given here let okay i already given the sccm dc1 okay and the second sccm01 which i given or not let me check yeah i have given the name sccm01 also and second thing what we will do again come to this uh, diagram and go to just you know okay here first what we need to do First, we have done this part, right? I mean, this part not only we given the name only. The second is configure IP for all server. We need to configure IP address as per given in the diagram, right? Just what I we explained to you, just do it. You understand better, or you take the printout of this uh, portion for more understanding. Okay. So uh, now open this uh, this one. Okay, this is the my DC, right? SCCM DC1, right? And if you want to hide this, I mean, uh, pin to this, then you can click this one point bar. It will, uh, like, it will be hide. If you ignore this, and it automatically hide. Okay, if required, then you can pin. Okay, okay. Let for the understanding, I have uh, pin to it. No issue. And uh, we have given the name. Now it's time to configure the IP address, right? Network setting, open the network and share center. Here, change the adapter setting, and this is the adapter. Go to the properties. Oh, I'm sorry, what happened? 
is it open yes yeah and the properties see there is ip version 6 and 4 i think 6 is not required right you can uncheck it and the 4 just click properties and still give the ip address what is the ip address again 192 i'm sorry yeah uh, 168 1.2 this is my IP address and this is the subnet. Uh, I don't want to give the DNS address because uh, the server still is not, uh, you know, perform as a DNS. Once the configure, then we can give, right? So let it be. Just press the OK, 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 right? So in the DC, the naming and IP is done. And go to the SCCM01. Its naming is done. Now we will configure the IP address, okay? Uh, and the second way so you can click over here otherwise otherwise you can click and click here go to the properties you can uncheck the ip version 6 as we don't require it. and click over ip version 4 go to the properties here choose use following ip address okay because dscp is not configured so i i, I don't want to choose op, uh, obtain the ip address automate but uh, this is the very important thing as a system ad administrator if you configure set up any server this ip should be static it should be reserved if you have a dscp also okay so remember this is the very important point 192.168.1.3 as per our diagram right and you just press the tab the automatic subnet mask will detect okay it's done right press okay 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 now we'll check the connectivity whether we we are able to ping this server i mean dc command prop so to checking the connectivity use the ping command okay and type here give the space 192 168 1 dot what is dc address it's two right yeah i'm able to ping oh what happened yeah able to ping but it's request timer there be some interruption connection is there okay no issue that be uh, how it is re re resolved um, I will give you one idea here the you need to off the firewall okay you just off the firewall go to the firewall here I'm close I will explain here Windows firewall is there in uh, local server go to the Windows firewall and turn off these things okay uh, okay it might be you know create problem also you can uh, uh, do this also of in enhancing I mean, internet security you can also off okay uh, okay and here also we will do same thing for this uh, of the firewall windows firewall turn off turn off okay and uh, it's done now here also you for the sec enhance security next for security you can turn okay now just try to check the connectivity here from this same command ping type the ip which you want to test 192 1.3 right okay it's coming the uh, not an issue uh, we will check here might be some problem here. I have edited my virtual network uh, 